Bonjour, I'm Jean Lalonde, the developer of Quick Access Pop-Up. Welcome to the second part of this video on how you can use Quick Access Pop-Up to enhance the file manager directory opus. We've seen in the, in the first part what are directory opus and Quick Access Pop-Up. We've seen how you can set up Quick Access Pop-Up to work with directory opus. And we've seen these um, more basic features. But now we will see three more advanced features. The first one is how you can open groups of folders and other applications uh, using directory opus listers. So let's say for example that I want to open and you see, you know, when you have to change a task, you have to, to do task switching. You often have to open various folders, documents or website to do the, the task you have to switch to. So what Quick Access Pop-Up is all allowing you to open in one click uh, various folders, documents or uh, web pages. And I'll see, we'll see how to do it right now. So first we will open the Quick Access Pop-Up menu, go in the settings and I would add here at the top a group. So it's a type of favorite that you can use. And I will name this, gr this group my the opus group. There are various options here, but I'll just do it the simple way for now. So in this group now I have no items, so I will add items to this group. To make it simple, I would just add two items one that will be my C drive root and the other one will be oh and I'll show you something here now the second one will be the folder of my D drive group uh, drive folder root and um, what you see here is this option display on which side of directory opus because quick access pop-up is configured to work with directory opus it knows that uh, folders can be open on the left side or the right side of your lister so for this one I will select right instead of the default left that we had for the uh, the first uh, folder we created here so we now have two folders that will be open on the left side and the right side and just to show you that uh, uh, how you can use it with other types of contents not only folders in quick access pop in uh, directory opus you can use layouts if you want to open various folders at the same time but and it's very good but in quick access pop-up you can also open other types of uh, for example, an application, a document, but I will just show it to you here for a web page. And this page will be the QAP website at HTTPS www uh, slash slash, excuse me, quick access popup.com. Okay, that's it. It should work. So we have three items in this group. I will save it. And now when we open the menu, we see here at the top that I have my D Opus group with the number three here telling that there are three items in this group. So if I click it, it will do, do two things. It, three things in fact it will open the C root drive on the left side in the new tab it will open the D um, root folder on the right side and it will also open my default browser with the quick access pop-up um, website in it so let's do it and it's done it's less than one second to do it so here on the left side I have C here I have D and I have my browser open in uh, Bing in this case. So that's uh, how you can um, uh, use Quick Access Pop-Up to launch multiple things that you need at the same time just by, uh, by using one click in your pop-up menu. Second thing I want to show you is how you can uh, use Quick Access Pop-Up to open an FTP site in directory opus. So what we can do here, you know that you can open FTP sites here, you can do connection, you can edit an address book, but you could also use quick access pop-up and I'll show it to you here by adding an FTP site favorite. I'll enter a fake site just for, to make it uh, quickly. So FTP example, so FTP column slash slash 
ftp.example.com it's not a real site but you will see that it will be open and try try to open it in the directory opus you can enter a login name and a password uh, if you do it you will be automatically logged in to your ftp site just be aware that this information is not encrypted so it can be uh, exposed to um, people uh, sniffing your your connection so or, or looking at your um, in your settings file in uh, on your computer so use it only if you know it's not uh, too sensible to enter this information there if you don't enter it it will be asked to you when you will you will um, uh, log in to your FTP site. So I click add. I now have my FTP example here. Save and close. And I could be anywhere. I click FTP. It will open a new tab in directory opus and it will try to to open this uh, FTP site. In this case it didn't work. It was not a real example but it could be a real folder here with uh, if you provide a real username and password you will be already ready to uh, use or uh, manage the files in this FTP site. Okay, so that's how you can use this other type of favorites. And lastly, we will see how you can use placeholders. That's the most advanced topic in this video. It's for users who are comfortable with things like uh, application parameter, with uh, working directory. So these are all things that you can control in directory opus in, in quick access pop-up when you create an application um, uh, favorite. So I will just for the example here go in the settings and when we add an application favorite in addition to providing the information here, we can also in the advanced tab select in what folder or directory we want the application to be launched. The application will, will behave as being currently in a given folder, not necessarily the one it had uh, by default, but one that you can choose. Not every application will support this uh, uh, this. Uh, this setting but most will do and the other um, thing that quick access pop-up can do is to give a parameter to the application that you launch for example you can after the the the, the path to the executable file that you went here, here like notepad for example here I could enter in the in the parameters the name of the file that I want to, to open. Okay, test.txt, it's not a real example again, just to show you, it will give an error because the file does not exist, but you will see that it will try to open the file text.txt. And if it was existing, it would be already uh, available inside my document. So it, the way to, of course, I could have just uh, create a document favorite, but what I want to show you, show you now is that you can add parameters to the application that you launch. So we will change this example here and instead we will use, I will just remove that one, and we will use um, a batch file that is here in my QAP demo folder that is named show current. What this batch is doing, it, it, it will I will run it right now. It will show that the current folder is an QAP demo, the folder where it has been launched. And it says that select selected item is uh, echo is off. In fact, it's just because there is no selected item in my, my list here. And I will show you what you can get instead of this weird message. So let's close this window and return to my menu to configure to configure here a new favorite of type application. I will browse to my folder uh, on my end drive, QAP demo, show current is a batch file. Batch file is considered as an application uh, for quick access pop-up. It could be uh, an auto hotkey script, it could be a uh, JavaScript, it could be a PowerShell script. So uh, not only application, uh, with the exe uh, extension can be added but anything that is executing something so i will select here show current 
or just rename it to something nicer and here in the advanced setting i will i could say that i want it to start in a given folder so for example in the in the d drive dropbox folder and i say add i will just do half of what i want to show you it will take our let's take our time save and close and now if i select the show current folder it will be launched in the current folder d dropbox because that's the the, the starting folder that i configured in my favorite what we can also do is instead of giving a, a given folder we can tell a quick access pop-up to use the folder that is currently active in your browser in your file manager so it's a placeholder named curlock current location and now if i'm starting it inside this folder here let's say i will use my temp folder on d and i say show current it will tell me that the current folder is temp because i started it in this folder if i do the same here but in personal it tells me that i am in my dqap personal folder so that's one parameter that at one configuration that i gave to my favorite here to tell it to start in the current folder so it, it's one way where quick access pop-up will interact with directory opus to find what is the current location the other thing we can do is to pass to quick access to um, to the application a parameter so parameter could be a file name as we've seen but it can also be a placeholder for something that will be detected from directory opus and in this case we will use the uh, placeholder name cell selected location between uh, accolade in french i'm not sure in english how you curly brackets in english and closing quotes quotes are important here if you want things to be uh, well um, ma uh, not being split when there are spaces in your name so the selected location will be the file that is selected in the lister when you launch your uh, application let's see it at work so let's say i will go in my in this menu here i will go to my abc uh, abc projects project here okay so if the file that is selected let's say it's the status report here that is selected and i middle click my uh, my mouse to open the menu and i select show current so in addition to telling me that the current folder is the project abc folder it tells me that the selected item is n qap demo etc status report dot doc x which is the file that is here i could do the same with this file instead and it will show me that this is the file that is selected so in this example it's not necessarily very useful uh, because it's only a batch that is showing what is selected but you can imagine that you would build a script or a batch or an application that could use as a parameter the file that you selected here and do something with it open it uh, manage uh, process it or delete it what you want so that's really a powerful capability that you have in quick access pop-up to uh, apply a given application or script to the file that is currently selected and in the folder that is active in directory opus so i hope these features you you will you can find a, a useful application for this um, and if you have any question you can go to the quick access pop-up website there are uh, resources there there's a knowledge base uh, with frequently asked questions and there's a group on google where you can go to ask questions also so you're welcome thank you for your interest and see you on quickaccesspopup.com